Hello and welcome back to the Adrian Barr Project. I'm Adrian with a face for radio and on today's episode I will be reviewing Tamir's 135 Panzer IV. So, cue the music. If you remember back to uh, about two or three videos previous, I told you that my next model build was going to be the Panzer IV. Um, so I'm going to crack open the box, we'll do an inbox review on this video. Um, later on, at the end of the video, you'll get a, a closer look when I do a montage of the parts. Part two will be, be building the kit, and part three will be the painting, weathering, and the final reveal. So let's have a look what's in the box. Right, we'll have a, a quick look at the box art before we start. We've got a nice depiction of the Panzer IV on front with the three colour camouflage skin. On the edge of the box, you've got the, I think, what you call a leopard kind of design there. The Model kit number for this is 35209 and on the other side we've got the three colour camo design there or the single one which is the one I'm doing, I've always liked that, that version. I have done a bit of research as to whether this version would have had Zimmerit coating on it and it, I think it seems to say that this was around the time that they started putting Zimmerit coating on so I'll be having a go at that um, see what I can come up with. So, there we go. And open the box. And as usual, you can find it's stuffed with plastic. You always get your money's worth with Tamir, I think, or Timaya, Tamir. You say potato, I say potato. Inside, all the parts are bagged. And there's one, two, three, four bags, the lower half of the all, and the tracks come as rubber tracks. Um, there's no um, link and length tracks in this kit. This is a bit of an older kit, I think. Uh, I've had it quite a while. So. I'll take uh, the parts out of the bags so there's no rustling and let's have a look at the parts. We'll have a look at the uh, instruction leaflet first. It's your standard Tamiya leaflet. As you can see in section one we're starting off with the front panel going on through to the lower half of the wheels and the chassis, the rollers. Fitting the wheels on and start work onto the upper hull. Moving on through to all the bits and bobs like they usually do. It's your standard to me a way of doing it. I've, I've set their instructions out, all the painted call outs are there. Nice little bit of information to give you a guide on the do's and don'ts of what to do. If you built a, a Tamiya kit before, then you know what to expect from it. Very detailed instructions. You also get a sheet to uh, tell you where the decals go and painting guide. So like I say, I'll be doing that version, which is, let me just read it. The 4th Panzer Division, 35 Panzer Regiment from Russia in autumn 1943. Also, in the kit, we get a small, small decal sheet. They look okay. 
So with being armour, you don't get as many decals to put on as what you do on, on aircraft. Um, so you've got uh, the, the rubber tracks, which are standard fare. They don't look too bad, actually. They'll come up nice. And some metal painting and some rust weathering. Very nice. You get a piece of... Piece of string. I'm assuming that's some kind of tow rope affair. We'll have to find that out when I come around to building it. If it is for a tow rope, I think I will be changing that and making my own out of a few strands of fused wire, which I'll I'll wind together. It'll get a, a better effect. All right. The first part is lower off the, the hull. This is inside. I don't think you're going to be able to see it on my camera. 1994. So, 94, 2004, 14. It's 20, 25, 26 year old kit. It's well moulded. It's got some nice, nice panelling on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Got some really nice detail on there. So, look at this first sprue. Right, the first sprue's got the machine guns on and some spare spare tracks. It's crisply moulded, it's fantastically moulded. This is no flash on this at all. It's it's stunning. There's some nice detail on the machine gun. That's trying to get as, as much of the detail on as I can for you. It's I'm using the middle laptop camera so it's not gonna be as detailed as other YouTubers have when they've got all their lovely Nikon cameras and, and whatever. Right, this first main sprue, this has got the top half of the hull on it. Some nice detail on that, well moulded, it's crisply moulded. Again, there's no flash. There's the gun barrel, it's a two piece gun barrel. It's very nice. It's the rings off the top of the turret, that's the top half of the turret there as well. The gun manifold. It's very, very crisply moulded. It's, it's fantastically moulded, in fact. Really liking the look of this kit. And the next one, it's got the side skirts on it. You do get the figure. Now the figure, the main body part, is comes as a hole which I, I prefer. Um, I can't see much of a seam line that you're gonna have to work on. There's the arm parts as well and the head. And some really decent crisp detail on this. Really looking forward to building this kit. Second sprue. We've got another figure on it, so you get two figures with this kit. I only thought it came with one, but we've got two. As you can see, the moulding on it is really crisp. There's some fantastic detail on this, but that's what you've come to expect from a, a Tamiya kit anyway. And looking at this, I'm, I'm expecting it just to fall together. I'm not expecting any trouble with this kit at all. The next two sprues are identical pair and they're for the wheels. Again, no flash, detail, excellent detail. This is it's going to take a wash, lovely this. And again, I'll say I can't see there's going to be any trouble with the assembly build whatsoever with this kit and then of course you've got a, poly, uh, a set of poly caps they are for for the wheels I think the drive wheels aren't they so there we go that's the, the plastic and I'm now going to show you a montage of the everything you get in the box a bit closer up
so there you have it it's Tamir's Panzer IV kit in 135 scale you can see why Tamir are so highly regarded in the model world this kit it's, it's molded crisply no flash absolute dream the detail is outstanding so I could only give this model top marks so I'm going to give this five evil Edna's Airfix have just announced a whole raft of kits due to come out in November. They will be releasing two limited edition boxings of their 148th Canberra kits. The sole difference in these kits will be the addition of a third scheme to coincide with the 70th anniversary of the Type's first flight. Also, they will be releasing yet another batch of their vintage kits and the popular 135 scale Academy armoured kits. Not to be outdone, Trumpeter have announced a raft of kits of their own as well. The top of the tree for me being their 124th scale Yonkers U87B Stuka. It looks a really nice kit. You can find out more information about these kits and more in this month's Airfix Model World magazine or by visiting the relevant websites. Okay, that's it for another episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe, like and share my videos. It's very much appreciated. And here's to seeing you again on the next episode of The Adrian Bauer Project.